Hi, I'm Grant. My wife, my daughter, and I have a Channel 6 Overland, and this is our Patriot Campers X1H. All right, so with the Patriot Campers S X1H, um, Patriot Campers out of Australia, their main camper line is the X1 line, and the H is for a hard top. And we'll show you more on that later, but ours right here on top uh, where our tent resides. Uh, one of the nice thing with the Patriot Campers is you get a pull-out L-shaped kitchen that is kind of the centerpiece for your outdoor living space. And so um, we've got 40 gallons of water on board, so you can survive off-grid for quite a while with uh, the amount of water storage that, uh, that it carries. Uh, fully plumbed sink with a Webasto diesel water heater so that you've got hot water on demand. Um, so that is plumbed there. A uh, place here for your dishes and as well as a compartment in the back for uh, wet sponges and other things that you uh, want to drip dry and keep away from the rest of your items. Um, coming back a little further, we have a pull-out storage for your silverware um, and other utensils. And uh, we have the 63-quart ARB uh, fridge. Um, some people use different brands, but it's a pretty big space that you can store um, you know, all your food and, and uh, there's plenty of room in the Patriot for uh, Dometic and some other brand uh, fridges. Moving uh, further to the right, here is basically the power center for the Patriot camper. Uh, we have um, a normal 12 volt automotive uh, plug for your accessories as well as uh, USB for charging. This Patriot is equipped with the uh, Red Arc uh, Red Vision power system, uh, power management system, and this takes care of uh, everything, you know, with charging the batteries to running all the electrical systems, uh, monitoring your solar, monitoring your water levels. Um, and this camper comes equipped with uh, lighting in pretty much every compartment and it's all controlled right here. Uh, there's also a Bluetooth app where you can use it from around the camper as well to control your electric. Webasto diesel water system, which is in the front of the trailer, but the controller is here um, on the camper. This camper also comes equipped with uh, airbags, and so you can level this camper on pretty much any camp spot. You don't need a level camp spot. Um, and of course, here's your controls for the air compressors for um, adjusting the, the trailer left and right. And then of course, you use the tongue to balance it out. All right, so. In, so in the center of the Patriot, we have um, the, some storage compartments, and these drawers are uh, pretty big. This is where we keep, uh, you know, coffee is the most important part of the day. So this is where we keep a lot of our coffee things, and then taller items like our cooking oils and uh, maybe some cleaning wipes and things like that. So that all stays here for us. So for our cooktop, we're using a Primus. Uh, a lot of other cooktops will fit in this space, so you don't just have to have this as the option. Um, but the nice thing about this little tray is it is on a gas strut and just slides on back and into place and uh, slides out. They built this trailer section where you have storage for your spices on the sides on both of these drawers. Uh, and we actually, um, a friend of ours, gave us an idea of building a little compartment back here where we have all different kinds of spices for cooking and it slides, it's right underneath the stove and works out great for us. Uh, as well as this compartment up top uh, found on Amazon, these little boxes that allow us to keep our, you know, uh, our coffee beans, you know, pancake mix and other dry items and it fits perfectly right in this drawer up top. Um, so the Patriot Camper X1H uh, has a bar top. So it's a nice padded bar top. So if you have your you know, glass of wine or you know, any sort of beverages, you can use that. And we, of course, as we're cooking, if we don't need something, we may toss it up here to get it out of the way of the surface. Um, so that works out really well. Moving up to the awning. So the awning is a 270 degree wraparound awning. 
and it's pretty simple to set up and tear down and it is on uh, it is on these hinges so that when you're in a travel position it's actually lowered down and not hanging out up top and so uh, the struts when you set it up you pull it up and then open the the awning out so it provides a great deal of uh, shade um, whenever you're a campsite and that's also expandable uh, that's the one thing about the Patriot Campers X1H is it pretty much expands out to as big as you want it to be or as compact as you want it to be whether you're staying at a camp spot for one night or one week so it's uh, pretty um, versatile in that way um, place down here to hang your propane bottle for your stovetop uh, and then on the corners the rear corners um, they built these what they call wet boxes and these are pretty much for if you have items that are going to be dirty that you don't want to get other items dirty you can toss them in here um, we have uh, some sandbags that we use for securing down the awning when we need to on a windy day. Um, so, you know, if, if those get dusty and dirty, we don't really, you know, want those to get everything else dusty and dirty. So, uh, and that's on both corners. Um, the storage compartment back here is massive. And right now we've just got some things kind of tossed in here, but um, we've got storage for two chairs, all the extra uh, uh, canvas pieces. Uh, there's a, a place up here specifically for your poles for the extra tent pieces. And so those kind of stay up nice and out of the way. We've got our portable trash can. We've got um, a couple Bass Pro Shops tables and of course canvas to store some of the tent pieces. Uh, ARB ground mats. Uh, a couple of the, we said GCI, um, yeah. outdoors, chairs, the rockers. We have even a hammock with the frame so that you can set up a hammock anywhere, even if you don't have trees, that's all in here. So there's tons of storage. Um, and uh, we've, we've never wanted more storage. Like this is pretty much everything we would ever want to carry can fit inside this compartment. The other nice thing about the X1H and the X1 line in general is that you've got this massive pull-out drawer that has dividers that you can move and divide up things as however you like. Um, my wife likes to use this as a pantry, and so we can really keep everything we need for cooking um, that will last us for you know a week, two weeks, however long we want to be out. So that, that's kind of the back of the trailer, um, you know, swing out tire carrier that also serves as a brace for part of your, your awning out here. Now, one thing we don't have set up right at this time is there's a zipper right under this flap and we can attach another sail piece to extend out as a, an extension of the awning. So when, when this whole system is set up, it literally has awnings on pretty much three sides of the camper. So you can live all the way around it in, in shade and comfort. All right, well now onto the, the main part of the camper, which is the tent. And this is a really heavy duty canvas. So it, uh, it definitely holds in heat on cold nights and has plenty of openings where you can create a lot of ventilation on, uh, on warm days to help keep the tent cool. The X1H actually comes with three different configurations. One, if you see the zipper line here and up at an angle, you can open up just the main part of the tent with the hard top and that can serve as a sleeping area and you don't need to set up anything else. If you would like some more privacy or let's say it's a colder night and you wanna um, be able to have a little bit more indoor warmth area, you can attach this uh, changing room to it, which zips on and goes all the way to the floor and actually has flooring in it. So it's not just an open dirt room. Um, or, and the one piece that we don't have set up right now in this tent, is there is a whole nother room that attaches right here and extends out to 
about here and they call that the kids room and so it really opens up the space to where we've had six people sleep in here comfortably so the other nice thing about this doorway is it does have these eye holes where you can use some of the tent poles and actually bring it up as kind of a bedouin um you know awning on this side of the tent if you don't have the the uh, kids room attached so uh and then of course everything has screens that you can open so let me roll this up each each of these canvas door panels uh, and screens they have a velcro latch system you just open slide through the opening here and now your canvas is out of the way just like that all right so the one really nice thing about the patriot camper is you've got lots and lots of space uh, to get up into your bed you've got a ladder that when it's stored away you can keep it up like this and it flips over the top and we can show that in a little bit um, and then of course a brace that can go up and attach right here to kind of give you some extra security on this folded out section of the uh, tent platform so when this changing room zips on what it does is it provides a sealed off section a lot of people are like okay how do you actually seal it off well, there's a zipper underneath this platform that zips on and your compartment doors for the camper start off as closed but uh, these th this canvas panel zips right up and keeps everything sealed so you are completely sealed off from the outside when you have this closed up um, but the nice thing about it is you still have access through these panels to your storage area now this is a lot easier to get to when you fold this bed platform up and typically during the day, once we get up in the morning, we'll fold up the bed so we have easy access to all of our compartments. On board, we have a 1,000 watt uh, inverter, so we can run 110 accessories uh, in here and run a power cable out. Uh, there's lighting underneath as well as in the compartments. Um, so we've got plenty of lighting. The tent area as well, if we kind of climb on up um, the tent area also has lighting built in on both sides of the bed as well as above and the nice thing about this is it is on a touch button so you can dim it down or brighten it up and that's a nice feature in here so if you're, you know, if you've got a little one, you're trying to get them to settle down to go to bed like we do, um, then we can dim the lights and kind of mellow out the mood so that we can you know, have a nice night of sleep. The other thing is this, this mattress, this bed, it's, it's an actual mattress. Now, a lot of these off-road style campers um, and rooftop tents have just a small foam mattress. The nice thing about this is it is an actual mattress it's a pretty thick um, nice mattress you know springs so it is uh is quite comfortable to sleep in um, we've not really we've not had any complaints or any bad nights of sleep uh, in in this camper so uh, and you can keep your sheets on the bed when you go to fold it up now i mentioned that that there's a webasto diesel water heater the other nice thing about that is there is a heat exchange that will blow warm air into the tent. So what we normally do to help keep this warm on cold nights is we'll go ahead and lower down these panels so that we can completely seal off the bed area, keeping that warm air inside. Uh, and this is, this is how if you don't put on the changing room, how you would sleep, you know, just with this open, sealed off, um, and then this area being open with just this overhang over the top. If we're gonna put this into storage, I can show you how this is sealed up. 
we're gonna zip up the zip up the screen zip up the main part of the canvas we have clips in the on the side in the middle and on the outside and velcro that helps keep it sealed on the lower part of the bar and then a zipper up top and so we can so to stow this away we're going to fold this panel up. oh it also has magnets as you hear there it clicks on and that helps it you know keep all the warmth inside and from moving to get this ready for storage or moving um, what we'll do is first we'll flip the mattress over it is in two pieces and it's zipped together um, so we'll just flip that over and, and kind of make sure that that's back and in place tuck in any loose sheets that could get caught in the uh, hinge mechanism going to take and fold the the handle back raise this up there's a latch here now the original versions uh, this latch um, sometimes uh, there this would kind of slide out of place but they've created a fix for that that's going on all their new models so that this stays 100% secure um, we found a quick small solution there's always workarounds and so now we're secure um, but again that won't that's not an issue with the current models so we flip the bed platform back and now it's in its stowed position and now you have easy access to your storage compartments um, they also have these flat pack boxes for your clothes so that when we go out as a family we'll have four of these boxes in here um, one for each of the three of us and one for our uh, hygiene items right now I'm here testing out Starlink so we've got that stowed in here and it actually fits nice and perfect so then we've got our front storage box so this is opposite of the fridge and that same kind of tunnel through the uh, the trailer and of course it's pretty deep as well um, I can't even touch the back wall like that so it's it's a pretty deep compartment so we store in here a mr buddy heater for the super cold nights um, as well as other hygiene items and some stools and things like that uh, and then we attach this little bag here for uh, bug repellents and other items this camper does come with a solar panel on top of the hard top but if you are parked in the shade that doesn't really help much so uh, there is a power um, plug here an anderson plug so that you can put external panels and run it out away from your campsite um, this little compartment which is more visible when the trailer's packed up but it's also where your water fill is at it's back in there so now we're at the front of the trailer this is uh, the area they call the man cave and we have a few items that um, were really well thought out in this area one is this right here so this is a positive pressure vent there's a filter on the back side of this that's accessible from that big inside compartment and when you're driving down the road air will come in through that filter and actually force air out of the seals so if you're going down a dusty road it's not sucking that dust into your trailer it's actually pushing the air out so that's a really well thought out design item we have storage for two um, propane tanks uh, so these are and I think the newer models of these campers, they actually have a, uh, an opening where this panel opens up to make it a little easier to get these out. This is also where your diesel fill is at. And it takes, I think, about two gallons of diesel to run the Webasto. And it is super efficient. Like, we, we've maybe filled this up three times in three years. It's super efficient with your hot water and diesel. So the Webasto is stored in here and it takes care of your hot water for your sink uh, as well as there is a uh, shower um, 
that you can pull out. So if you wanted to set up your shower tent on this side of the camper, you can just pull this right out, hook it up, and you've got your hot water shower. Um, there's actually a um, adjustment for the water temperature for the shower and a separate one for the sink so you don't have to have the same uh, temperature. You can kind of adjust that at your uh, whatever works for you. Um, again, this is the man cave and this is basically where all of our gear um, stays. We've got propane hoses and, uh, you know, power drill and, you know, axes and saws and different things like that. Uh, as well as we use uh, these Patriot camper screw pegs. Uh, and you can see down over here, that's what we're using to attach the tent. And these things are awesome. Uh, you've got a bit for your you know, power drill and you just screw these into the ground and it's super fast. It takes the pain of pounding in, um, you know, some of the, the pegs that you have for your tents. It takes all that away and makes it really easy. But yeah, so the rest of the man cave here, we've got uh, a grill and, a, and you'll see like, our camper looks a little cluttered, but it's because we really want to take advantage of every bit of space that we have. But we've got, the Weber pull-out grill so that you can be here barbecuing and from here at your barbecue station you've still got access to your fridge and you've got access to your sink so you can in theory have two people cooking simultaneously in two different parts if you're cooking a big meal or uh, or have maybe some sides that you're cooking on the stove and something separate on the barbecue grill. So that's a really, really nice uh, feature that we use a lot. So one of the interesting things about this trailer is because it is built for off-road and it's built in Australia, the hitch is different. So towing this is kind of, a, it's too easy. It is awesome to tow this thing. Uh, what we have here is a DO35 hitch from Cruise Master. This is, again, an Australian design that they have standard in the Patriot campers, as well as uh, a brake, a handbrake. Um, but this hitch, what's neat about it is that you have this pin. You know, you drop uh, into your pin, and then this locks into place. So now it's a solid part of your vehicle. Um, but for off-roading, you know, a ball hitch has a limit. It can only articulate so far before it hits its limit but this hitch it will spin mm -hmm. all the way around front to back mm -hmm. so you're not going to bind if you're going up and down um, slopes like this but it also will spin 365 degrees all the way around so if you're in a situation where you might uh, roll your trailer or roll your vehicle, you're only going to do one or the other. It's not going to actually pull the other vehicle over. Um, and, uh, and, and I have seen uh, fairly recently uh, a video of someone off-roading with a Jeep who got in a bad way with the Jeep, flopped the Jeep on its side on an off-road trail, but the Patriot camper stayed upright. So it's not going to pull everything over. Um, and and it's just great. I mean, we've taken this on trails where we're literally going back and forth like this and no binding, no problems at all. Uh, I can't remember exactly what the weight, uh, the dry weight on this trailer is. I'm sure that's easily looked up. And, uh, but when we have ours fully loaded, I think we're about 3,200 pounds, um, give or take. Uh, and uh, the Jeep's towing capacity is 35. So we're kind of on the close end with it, but um, but again, it's it's really, you don't even notice it behind you. It's just, it's so smooth to tow. So that's a quick tour of our Patriot Campers X1H. You can find us at youtube.com slash six overland. That's spelled out S-I-X. Uh, we're also on Instagram and Facebook, and you can find our family adventures there where we take this trailer off-road for long-distance adventures through uh, national forests, through BLM land, and basically some places that are a little bit sketchy. So you'll have to check out our videos to see some of our adventures.